Hi everyone, Steph Kiochi from the Collingwood Football Club here. It's really great to see so many players getting behind ladder at the moment in their newest player series and I'm pretty chuffed to be involved myself. Um, it's a difficult time at the moment given what's going on with COVID-19 and the new regulations. Um, it's a lot of time being spent at home, but we can make the most of that time um, and get some things sorted before life goes back to normal. Having a current and up-to-date resume is really, really important. It means that you can apply for jobs straight away. Um, but don't forget that we already have the work-ready tips that Ladder have provided you, so you can tap into that as well. What we're going to do today is we're going to go through my top five tips for writing a resume. Now, I'm a teacher and I've seen a few resumes in my time, and these are the five uh, most important factors um, for me and what I look for when I'm looking at my students' resume. So hopefully it's helpful for you. Okay, so in no particular order, uh, number one, okay, a consistent font and structure. So when I'm looking at resumes, I want to make sure that everything looks nice and neat and it's nice and structured, um, that you haven't got double spaces here and only one space here, um, and that the font is consistent throughout the document. That's really, really important. Um, it shows that you've actually gone over your work um, you've sort of proofread it and you've made it look appealing to the person reading it um, and making sure it's easy to read. It's a big enough font for people to read is important as well. Okay, number two is to check spelling and grammar. Okay, some of us aren't the best spellers um, and that's okay, but there's ways around that. So you can use the internet um, to check your spelling. You use a dictionary. Um, you can also ask a friend. So make sure you have someone look over your work for you, um, but make sure you go over it first yourself. Okay. Number three, so include past experience, roles and responsibilities. So in the section where you're talking about your past experience um, with work or voluntary work, make sure you actually include some examples of the roles and responsibilities you had. Um, for example, if you were working as a checkout chick or a checkout bloke um, at a local supermarket, what were some of the things that you had to do? Did you have to clean? Did you have to collate money? Um, did you have to help people find products, things like that. All right, number four, where possible, include interesting facts about you. Okay, so you don't want to ramble too much on a resume, but you also want them to know uh, a little bit about you. And it might be something so simple, um, but it could mean that they've created a relationship with you without you knowing it. For example, you could say that you really enjoy fishing and the person who's reading your resume might really enjoy fishing. Um, so that quirky little fact about you um, could set you apart from everybody else. Last but not least is be honest. Okay, if you haven't got a lot of experience with the job you're applying for, that's fine. Um, there's certainly ways around that. Um, but it's really important that you are being honest with what you're telling your potential employer, um, with your work experience, your voluntary experience facts about you, um, there's references on there, so people will actually get a call about you, so it's really important that you are being upfront and honest about um, what you're applying for. Well, that's it from me. Hopefully you found those tips helpful. Don't forget your development coaches are always able to help, um, so make sure you reach out to them if you need to. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tips. Stay safe and best of luck with your resume writing.